I'm just uh, like everybody else in the NFL world right now, bracing for impact. Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> the impact of what? What are you What are you bracing for, Tom? What is What's on top of your mind right now? Well, at this moment, it would be what happens with Aaron Rodgers, which and? is going to set the table for a lot of other things. Uh-huh. Here, here's what I can tell you at this moment on Aaron Rodgers. And, Rich, by the time I'm even done with this sentence, this could change, but this is where it stands yes. as of this moment in time right now. The Jets went out there to California on Tuesday mm-hmm. to meet with Aaron Rodgers. They sent a contingent of people. The Jets want Aaron Rodgers to be their quarterback. The Jets have thought through what they're willing to do draft pick-wise, contract-wise, everything else. And if Aaron Rodgers comes to the Packers and says, I want to be traded to the Jets, then they are open to working with him to make that a reality and then moving forward with Jordan Love. The key piece of this, as it has been throughout this entire saga, is that Aaron Rodgers has not yet told the Packers and Jets what he wants to do. He has publicly said that everything's on the table between going back to Green Bay, playing for another team, even retiring. He's got $60 million almost fully guaranteed this year. And he has effective veto power over any trade. So it's really an Aaron chance to make the first move here, depending what his decision is. There's some additional conversations that need to take place either between the Packers and Aaron Rodgers or the Packers and the Jets or in the retirement saga, uh, Aaron and his inner circle, if he's moving forward. But in terms of what actually happens here, this is now up to Aaron. And as of right now, again, could change before the end of your show. As of right now, Aaron has not told the teams what he wants to do. And so there's um, already something that when you said the Jets have communicated what they're comfortable doing, um, have they essentially, uh, Gutekunst and Joe Douglas, struck a deal where all it is just Aaron saying – um, I'd like to go, and they they know exactly how much the Jets know exactly how much the Packers are willing to eat of his contract themselves, and thus the sliding scale of the the draft choice that would be going back to or choices that would be going back to Green Bay are already been hammered out, or that's something that um, still hasn't been hammered out and could be a snag, and like you know the Packers suddenly want more because they know the Jets have already put it all out there. Um, I'm, I'm asking about, I guess, the nuts and bolts, how much that's already been hammered out, best you can tell or know. To my knowledge, there was not a deal in place. But certainly the Packers giving Aaron Rodgers to permission to speak to the Jets would indicate that the Packers feel like the Jets will negotiate in good faith in a really unusual situation with a single bidder, a player who will only go one place. Uh, and a contract that, if it's still sitting on the Packers' books, comes next Wednesday, has a significantly different cap impact than if he's not on the roster. So it, it's the, the clock is ticking. There's no doubt about it uh, for Aaron Rodgers, for the Packers, even for the Jets, who, you know, they obviously had a productive meeting with Derek Carr. That was a real possibility for him. He ended up going to the Saints. If they miss out on Aaron Rodgers, they're going to have to pivot yet again to whatever that possibility might be, and they've been very clear they're going to add a veteran quarterback. So now you're into the Jimmy Garoppolo's, potentially Lamar Jackson. Is it Baker Mayfield? There's a lot of different ways that you could go, but you're going to want answers here. That negotiating window opens up on Monday. That's four days away, right about this time. And, and, and you know, the and free agency officially begins two days after that. So wh- whatever happens here, I anticipate that it's not going to be much longer because everybody would be put into a bind, specifically the Packers and the Jets, if Aaron carries this beyond the weekend. So um, any any indication of what was discussed at this dinner? Jets selling Rodgers on the idea of going to New York, just getting his idea of how much you know they, they'd see of him in the offseason, anybody that he'd want to have added to the roster? I mean, what what did they talk about other than, you know, hey, what's the, what are the specials at Lucky in Malibu? I would fairly say all aspects of a potential Jets-Aaron Rodgers marriage were discussed in those meetings. 
And, you know, Aaron has obviously a very close relationship with Nathaniel Hackett. That was his guy for the few years Hackett was in Green Bay. He's the offensive coordinator now with New York. So in terms of what the offense looks like and things like that, those two already know what it would look like. Well, that's, a that's, a hu- that's a big piece. That's a huge that's a huge piece. Hackett knows it well. That's a huge piece. It's all the other it's all the other things and getting comfortable with a new organization. That's where, you know, I, I think that I, I understand where people say what is taking so long, but you think about it, Aaron's been with one team for eighteen years. That's his entire adult life. He spent with one team since the time he was 20, 21 years old. He's never experienced anything else. So it makes perfect sense that you'd want to get to know the owner and the team president and the GM, obviously the head coach, who happens to have had Matt, uh, Matt LaFleur, the Packers coach, and the best man in his wedding. So, you know, and you go back 15 years, they also did the same thing with another Packers quarterback in Brett Favre. And I was working at the Green Bay Press Gazette at that point and it was an all-night type of a negotiation and one of the ways that they closed Aaron or closed Brett Favre was by offering up and showing him pictures of this land outside the city where he could go hunting Hunting. on his off days so whatever the equivalent of hunting land was to Brett Favre whatever the equivalent of that is to Aaron Rodgers (laughs) I would imagine with a court within of course the bounds of the salary cap that the Jets would roll out. Here's the answers to every one of your questions. We want you to feel comfortable. Absolutely. They want Aaron Rodgers to be their quarterback. Aaron now has to sit back, take that information in, and figure out exactly what he wants to do. Yeah, they have two darkness caves. They're called the Holland and Lincoln Tunnel. (laughs) And if you go there between the hours of 4 to 7 p.m., you can really – it's a long-ass day. You know, I mean (laughs) – I cannot believe the Jets are in this position right now. <laughs> I cannot believe that this is actually happening. So, what do you? What, what's your best guess? Give me your best guess. T leaves everything all together, and I know that Rogers has pointed out nobody knows what's going on in his world, and he's even mentioned our friend Ian Rappaport is exactly one of those people. So, what do you got for me? Um, what do you got? What do you think? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that. Uh... Ian caught the shot on that since my name was also on that story, but it was Ian's piece of information that was inaccurate in terms of the timeline. So I, I appreciate that Aaron somehow realized who was at fault on that and Good for you. decided to go after him Way and not to go. me. Way to go. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. And no one else does. I, I've talked to <laughs> practically everybody involved earlier today. Right. Everybody is waiting. Now, I think that logically – it's always seemed unlikely that everything would line up for Aaron Rodgers to be back in Green Bay simply because of the situation with Jordan Love, because of the direction that the roster might be going, because of just the the point in time that we're at. It's made sense that this might be where Aaron Rodgers really moves on. But I just don't know. I mean, he's a unique individual. There's not a lot of people who would go through this type of a process to figure out what they want to do. Whatever he feels after doing whatever it is he he has to do to feel it that's what he's going to move forward with here catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free